Howdy! Welcome back to the craziest corner of YouTube. Craziest corner of YouTube, where we don't just talk guitars and guitarists, we roast them. And today, we're gonna talk about the ESP, LTD, JRV, 8 for real, which is an 8-string beast with a Floyd Rose, because the presence of the floating bridge on an 8-string guitar is gonna make that guitar as friendly as a rabbit bull, who's very upset with you. And uh, it's kind of hard to deal with, is what I'm trying to say. So let's have a look at this guitar and use it as an example. Here rock lobster! Here rock lobster! Alright, so first of all, before we start, I just want to say a couple of nice things so we balance out the video, right? It's not just bashing. Javier Reyes is a great guitar player. That guitar looks really good. It sounds really good. No question about it. But first off, <laughs> tuning of this guitar is going to be a mission. It's going to be a bad experience. Already, when we're tuning a six-string guitar with a floating bridge and especially one with locking nuts, it takes half an hour extra and a lot of agitation to get the damn thing in tune. And then you get a little bit wrong at the micro tuners and you have to get an Allen key, undo the whole thing. So then they go ahead and add not just one string, but two strings to the equation. And the question is, why the heck do you need an eight string guitar with a Floyd Rose? And because the two new strings are lower strings, they're even harder to tune. Why? Having an 8-string with a Floyd Rose sounds borderline masochistic to me, like... And then you have the Floyd setup, where you have to make sure the spring tension matches your string tension, and the Floyd plate is parallel to the body of the guitar, and your intonation, yada yada yada. And then, let's talk about the weight of this guitar, too. See, I already got a 7-string at home. And it's considerably heavier than my other guitars. Like, I feel it when I play with it, especially for a longer amount of time. I feel the impact on my body. An 8-string electric guitar is even heavier. Like, they're usually between 10 and 11 pounds, so that's about 5 kilos. And the Floyd Rose plus the whammy bar and everything else of an 8-string guitar is around 1 pound itself, so half a kilo-ish, right? So this guitar is already heavy to hold. But yeah, let's add some extra metal to it. It's gonna be really good for your back. It's a good workout. <laughs> All right, how much is this thing? 2,300 US dollars. So if you love a challenge and you wanna impress your friends with a guitar that is near impossible to tune and it doubles as a workout tool and you wanna pay $2,300 for that challenge, go knock yourself out. But for the rest of us mortals, I think it's safe to say that the downsides of this guitar really does um, outweigh the cool factor. And I get it. If you're a Javier Reyes fan, if you're an Animals as Leaders fan, you're probably going to like this guitar. Fine. But then, if not honest with me, like, be honest with yourself. Is this guitar your ideal 8-string? Is this guitar a user-friendly guitar? Like, unless you have your guitar tech. The honest answer is no. And I and I get it. I see some of you guys already commenting, oh, you know, Floyd Rose, locking whatever, and if you tune it once, it'll never go out of tune, and dive bumps. Fine. Be honest. Like, hand on heart. Is this guitar the most user-friendly guitar? All right, let's leave it here. Good to see you. Take care, and I'll see you in the next. Oh, now you're...